Hello and welcome to Exco Gane Blog and Photography. I'm Steven. In today's video, I'm sharing with you guys one of my photography projects setups that I have built. What you're looking at is actually a greenhouse built from a plant cage. Yes, so this whole structure is metal and when you buy one of these from a gardening store, for example, gardening supply stores, yes, it comes as a a whole piece of course in front here there were some metal structures that i have to cut off with pliers so this whole thing you can find it in gardening supply stores or even online of course i bought it online and because of the shape of this cage plant cage being the shape of a house itself half a house i don't really have to do any modifications other than maybe spray painting if I wish to change the color and removing all the metallic structures in, on one side so that I can photograph through it. It's very simple. So sometimes you have to make use of the most common household appliances, household objects you see. They can be converted into blocks for figure photography. And then everything else inside, yeah, they are all miniatures. The flooring is made of artificial grass, something you can buy from gardening supply store as well and then the same thing applies to all these uh, fake tree branches, fake leaves, all the artificial flowers you are looking at over here they are all from gardening store. Of course you can find them online, I just go to Chinese commerce website Taobao and get everything there when you go for the gardening or even interior decor section and you search for artificial plants and so on you get a lot of options when it comes to diy products those who want to buy in bulk and decorate themselves at home yeah you can find a lot of these things online so this is all about arranging things the right way within this plant cage it is just that simple of course over on the roof over here you can see transparent plastic this is just a typical transparent plastic film you can get from stationery store so that it looks a bit like glass so once you have arranged everything nicely inside yeah you just place the figure inside in the middle and then the way you adjust the objects every single plant every single object you put you put inside the scene that will determine your composition the shelf I'm using to place on all the plants at the back, yeah, those are 3D printed stuff. This storage box is full of miniatures and props I use for figure photography and I have at least half a dozen of these. Yeah, and they are not something you will have overnight. Over the time of several years, when you do different types of figure photography, you will acquire different kinds of props and you accumulate so much over time. Back in year 2017, when I made this greenhouse, it was for a press figure of Oshino Shinobu. The end result looks like this. Yeah, and that was photographed without any kind of lighting. Once you build a greenhouse like this, you just take it out to an outdoor environment. Like over here, this, this is a balcony of my house. Technically, it is an outdoor environment, but under a shade. So in this kind of scenario, you bring it out to your backyard, into your car garage, or even a balcony, you put it under environmental light and you determine where the sunlight direction is coming from and you choose the right timing of the day and just photograph directly without any kind of lighting. You can get very decent results but of course you will need to do the right kind of editing in Adobe Lightroom later. However, for today, I'm making use of this Sakura Miku version 2021 figure by title. This price figure, I have already reviewed her link is right up here if you're interested quite a decent figure but she does have her own issues well this is just the price figure after all okay this is the figure we are talking about and with price figure nowadays most of the time their foot pack are already fused into their feet so what you can do is you have to punch holes in the flooring you just have to punch hole on the on the ground and you can plug the figure in and sometimes the figure will still not be able to stand properly despite punching holes that are appropriate in size for the foot pad. So what you can do is, you will need objects like this. This is glass, this is very heavy. Sometimes you place objects inside a drama scene so that the figure can lean against it. 
So that is usually how I get rid of figure bases in my dioramas. In this case, yes, I place the plant at one side and I just plug the figure in. Yes, the figure is able to stand. Some both photographers, what they do is they make use of metal wires and they will edit it out later in Photoshop. That is also one way of doing it depending which is your personal preference. Of course, this is direct shooting without lighting like what I did with Oshino Shinobu and the end result looks like this. Now, if you are wondering what would it look like if you were to photograph this exact same setup with a smartphone camera, I got you covered, it looks like this. Not nice at all, very messy looking because smartphone cameras, they have a small sensor, very short focal length for the lens, and the equivalent aperture is too small. I do not want to go into too much details on the technical side regarding smartphone cameras with this video, but this is exactly what you get versus a DSLR camera. So if you want to go further, you might want to consider a proper camera like this one. But you do not have to buy something too expensive, I would say budget about 600 US dollars and you will be able to get a very decent dedicated camera. Of course, at the end of this video, if you are interested in knowing what camera to buy, what first camera to buy if you are not sure, I actually have a tutorial on buying your first camera. So you can check out the video recommendations at the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.